Welcome to Spiritual, as the year of our Lord, 2017, draws to a close, make a point of giving thanks, there are none among you who have been completely without occasion to give thanks in 2017, giving thanks is a very powerful energy exchange, much like forgiveness, which you should all also be offering to those you have offended, including yourselves for the negative self-judgments and disparagements you have dished out to yourself far too frequently during these last 12 months. So, remind yourselves frequently, as this year closes and 2018 dawns, that you are the perfect divine children of God, and that therefore, surely, you should be loving yourselves purely and completely just as God does. Yes, of course you have made errors, that is part of being human, but forgive yourselves and move on, instead of dwelling on your perceived failings and inadequacies and inadequacies, thus depressing yourselves and your energy fields. You all must have heard the saying, to err is human, to forgive divine, well, you are all both human and divine because you are eternally one with God, there is only God, love, source, father, mother, God, the supreme intelligence, or any other word or phrase that you feel may better describe all that is, you are inextricably entangled within and at one with God, who, in his infinite perfection is error free, therefore, so are you, sins, errors, mistakes, pain, suffering, bitterness, hatred, judgment, and blame are all of the illusion, as will be abundantly clear to you when you awaken, as you inevitably will, your awakening is completely unavoidable, so celebrate, and bring it on, this is the day, December 28th, that Christians remember as the fifth of the holy innocents. In truth you, all sentient life forms, are holy innocents, even you, as humans, do not blame or punish very small children because you are fully aware of their innocence, of the fact that they do not understand what it is they have done, and that what they have done carried not the slightest hint of an intent to offend you, in truth, as humans you are very like them, yes, you have grown into mature, adult humans, but in the larger scheme of things, in contrast to reality, you too are wholly innocent, you are playing your games within the illusion, you are learning from them, and you continue, at a deep level within yourselves, to keep on renewing the intent to learn from the errors that you make, of whatever kind, and to behave ever more lovingly to all with whom you interact, as humans you do need to do this, it is part of the game, and part of the awakening process, but truth you have never separated from your divine source, separation is an unreal state that you have imagined and to which you cling as you try to differentiate yourself from others you judge as good or bad, right or wrong, more beautiful or less beautiful, making endless meaningless comparisons and judgments of God's holy and beloved children, in desperate attempts to crush or deny your own totally invalid feelings of inadequacy or worthlessness, the result is that you do feel separate, alone, frightened, in constant danger and many of you focus intensely on all that could arise to hurt or destroy you, thus effectively bringing into your human lives all that you fear, let go of fear. But don't jump off a cliff to prove that you are fearless, be loving with yourselves and with others and enjoy the peace and contentment that that way of living offers you, God's infinite love for you surrounds you in every moment, you are love as is he, so therefore you yourself must be constantly enveloped in the field of love in which all is lovingly and eternally embraced, all that you have to do is open your hearts to receive and accept the infinite love within which you are held eternally safe, it is always there, and you have the choice either to be aware and welcome its embrace, or to deny it by refusing to love the love residing within you, the first step to loving all that God creates and thus seemingly place a veil or cloak between you and it, that obstruction is but a very frail, diaphanous, inconsequential cloud of smoke or mist, however you choose to imagine it or name it, except when you intend to be aware of it instead of the infinite field of love that envelops you, then it seems to you that love, God, is inaccessible, unavailable, in fact far removed from where you imagine yourselves to be may be separated from him by an unbridgeable gulf, by an unutterable forest, 
or by billions of galaxies, and yet, God is always closer to you than you are yourself, so close that you are forever looking beyond or through him, seeking him where he is not, out there, but, as you have so often been told there is no out there, there is only here, immediately in the presence of your loving source, mother, father, God, infinite loving wisdom, all that is, and that always has to include you. You would be incomplete without God, and God would be incomplete without you, but for God to lack anything is impossible, therefore you are eternally safely at home within him and have just temporarily shut off your awareness of this your natural and most joyful state. So, to reiterate what you have been told in many channeled messages, and by many saints and mystics, it is essential that you go within daily, to that holy and love-filled sanctuary of inner peace, and rest out to renew and re-energize yourselves, your loving brother, Jesus. I hope you like the video, welcome to your channel. Don't forget to check out the other uploads.